All right, I've spent months building this thing. And I've really put off putting it in the water for the first time. All of my effort, energy, ingenuity has gone into this. And I realized I've got to put it in the water. It's going to float beautifully, I think. I don't know. I hope it doesn't all sink. I'm putting it in the pool water, which is very corrosive. So here we go. Get rid of the kid. Don't want him around. This is too personal. And the bloody thing just sinks. I can't believe it. It just wants to head to the bottom like a rock. Ballast tank is empty. So, using a bit of foam, I just try and get it to float. And here are the problems. I've got to fix the uh, electronic speed controller, fix the relays, fix the batteries, fix the air intake, replace the um, trim tanks, put foam in the thing as much as I can and cut away all the foam down the bottom, fix up the motor room, cover the oil tubes, thicken the servo connectors to stop them leaking, check the rudder, uh, paint, paint all the exposed bobs, retest and it needs to float and I need to put lead in the back to stop it rolling over. Is that enough? Okay, here we go. Probably a month later, I, I mean this is major work, let's just see how it goes. Very exciting. What? nervous, okay. anxious, and the effing thing sinks again. I can't believe this. I mean, what do you do to make a boat float? Mm, no, no, so this is another week later. Now I've stuffed it full of foam. Let's see if it works. And, wow, it does. I, 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 I can't believe my eyes here. It's actually floating, and it looks like it's floating at about the right level. It, it, it's a bit sad because, yeah, yeah, I just mesmerised by this total lack of stability. Let's just try it one more time. Okay, weeks later now, or. Well, seems like weeks, uh, it, it, it's still listening to port, um, but it's not rolling over like it was. That's, this is good, it's still sitting up high in the water. Okay. And now I've got the ballast tank flooded and the thing's sinking too quickly. Um, and I'm putting lead on it. Um, and, and it falls off. How humiliating. Okay, here's another list. I've got to dry out everything, check it, pressure test all the units because they're all leaking. Take weights from the front, put them on the stern, uh, place weight on the starboard side, around about 80 grams I think. Fix the main plug, the electrical, because it's leaking. Fix the, 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 the trim tanks and we're back in the water again. Okay, that was all pretty simple. Uh, this is the first time I haven't touched it, and yeah, it's not looking that good. I'm trying to trim it; doesn't work. Okay, fixed that problem now. Let's let's try it again. This is remarkably almost right. Now it's neutral buoyancy with a lump of foam stuck under the back and. Yeah, it's sort of heading down. Never mind. Okay, it, it, I'm, I'm, now I've built it a little bit more. I, I've made a lot of changes to the thing, and I'm really pretty... It's sinking again from the stern. I cannot... Oh, no. I cannot tell you how disappointing this is. It's like all my previous work has just gone down the tube. Yeah. Okay, it's fixed now, I think. Put lots more foam in the boat. Oh my god, it almost looks right. I've still got the little tabs under the hull where I can put lead if I need it. But this is happy. It doesn't have much power. I need to fix the 
props, but there it goes. Now I'm filling the tanks. Oh, not that impressive. A bit of leads required, I think. Not too much. About that much. More. And it's heading to the bottom and I'm trying to get it back up. That's the way to get it up. It's a bugger this submarine. I'm sick of it. Okay, this is it. bit of a port list, but not too bad. Now I'm just putting some metal on the back to get the balance right. This is going to have to go in the hull. Maybe just one more bit. Oh, bugger. That's it.